that we could well do without. All right. And uh, one of the biggest issues that uh, has been in the discourse, economic discourse and general discourse in this country, especially at this time with the introduction of housing levy, a lot of people are chipping in now. The Architectural Society of Kenya has also weighed in on the ongoing housing debate, urging government to prioritize its approach by engaging with stakeholders with the, in the establishment of the Kenya National Housing Board under an active parliament to create a regulatory framework to govern housing in the country. Let's listen in. One of the things about housing is the fact that uh, housing traditionally has been a mismatch of um, funding expectations. We are using short-term funds to fund long-term projects. And housing, particularly, is always going to be a, a long-term project. So we are using commercial banks who should be lending money to, to manufacturing, to, to, to retail. And we are using that money then to, to, to do housing. And that is why we are having all these sorts of failures in the part, in the, in the funding structure. So the housing fund, ordinarily should come and give us a long-term uh, uh, structure for, 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 for onward lending to the, to the ordinary Monainchi. And in this way, then you start asking the right questions. When we look at, for instance, the development of slums, it's a balance between the income that somebody has and what is available in the market for them to, to occupy. So if the government were able to get in, and provide social housing, even for rent, then that would start to deal with the, the problem at the bottom. Now, the, the projects that have been done in the past, we need to also study them. For instance, there's a project which was done in um, Pumwani, Pumwani High Rise. And the people who are living in the slums were sampled and they were taken and they were given houses and they were, they were on a 25 year program to pay for those houses. Many of them rented out those houses and went back to stay in the slums. We are really reiterating the need of formation of a framework that can analyze these things. You know, we have seen even in the news, numbers are being thrown about, about the costs and everything like that. But what we are trying to say here is there is a lot more that goes into housing. Housing is not just the construction of a house. There's an entire ecosystem that we need to look into. All right. Uh, Ken. We've seen uh, the housing peers uh, talk about this uh, from almost uh, last week, two weeks ago. It's been a discourse that he's engaged himself in. And from your assessment of listening to the vision carriers of this housing levy proposal, was there a consultation with industry players? Well, indeed, I think the PS for housing has been on a charm offensive to try and explain uh, the idea behind the housing fund. Uh, my observation is uh, the public uh, ha has been fairly skeptical about that plan and uh, a lot more communication um, has been needed. I think what we are seeing today is more players. The architects are coming in. Um, I think they see an opportunity in that space. Uh, but if you think of social housing, it's fairly one standard, it's fairly standardized. So I think the idea that architects will be designing each of these units, I think they need to shelve that idea. These things are, tend to be uh, standardized, it's one design and rolled out. Uh, but I think to their point is they need to have far more consultation on what needs to happen. And I think there has been some proposals to request for that to be shelved, maybe for a future fiscal year when Kenyans are not uh, feeling the burden of weight. You know, Noah, for somebody who earns about 50,000 shillings today, his take home is about 29,000 shillings. That's about 58% of his income. So when you throw in another 3% in there, you're really asking so much from that individual. So I think there's been proposals to say, yes, we do need houses. Yes, we do believe they, they have a spillover benefits, but possibly it's something that can be looked at in future fiscal years when issues of bread and butter have been resolved. All right. At this particular moment, we want to take a short break. When you come back, we we'll get Philip's perspective on this particular issue of housing and a rebuttal. Guess from who? We'll check that out later on. But now we take a short break. <laughs> 